Baker County, three children, one adult, they are dead. Two more adults are in critical condition after an early morning mobile home fire in a remote area. We learned that one of those in critical condition is a Baker County correctional officer. Fire crews responded to that fire about nine this morning. Take a look. This happened at a home on O.C. Horn Road in the Taylor area, just off County Road 125. It's not far from the Georgia state line. News for Jack's reporter Brianna Andrews joining us live from Baker County. Brianna, such a horrible tragedy. Three children and one adult died in this early morning fire. We're actually here just a few miles up the road from where that incident happened. The Florida Bureau of Fire Arson and Explosives is investigating the fire's cause. This is the devastation left behind from a fire that destroyed a double wide mobile home on OC Horn Road this morning. Firefighters responded after receiving a 911 call from a neighbor. Uh, our first unit arrived on scene at 840, so a nine minute response time and confirmed heavy fire and were met outside by two adult injured victims needing medical attention immediately with multiple people still inside. Four people were inside the home, one adult and three children. Crews managed to pull them out, but all three of them died on scene. The two other adults were flown by helicopter to UF Gainesville's burn unit in critical condition. Their identities are unknown at this time, but Baker County Sheriff Scott Roden did confirm one of the victims is a Baker County correctional officer. We're going to continue to keep him in our in our prayers, along with all the other family members and all the other people that are involved in this fire. The Baker County Fire Department, Jacksonville Fire Rescue and McClenny worked together to put out the fire and managed to do so in a little over an hour. One firefighter suffered from a minor injury and was taken to a nearby hospital. No one else was hurt. Baker County Fire Chief Trevor Nelson says he is appreciative of the crew's hard work. It's, it's a group effort. Everybody works together. When you have a major fire like this, especially with this many people injured, that you need a lot of resources. Now the next step is to find out what caused this fire and how to heal. Unfortunately, two dogs also at the home died in this fire as well. Now coming up at six, I'll have more on an emotional message from the sheriff and ways that they're taking to help the first responders cope. Reporting live in Baker County, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.